Hi, I'm Siu Ling Hui with part 2 in a video series about the cash flow statement. This video shows you how the cash flow statement gives you key insights into your business and how it helps you plan and manage your cash flow and the financing of your business. For accounting purposes, there are three types or categories of activities that happen in every business, operations, investment and financing. Operations or operating activities are things like sales, manufacturing, administration, employing staff, and so on. Basically, your ongoing business, things you do on a day-to-day -day basis to generate a profit. The results are recorded in your profit and loss statement. Investment activities doesn't mean buying shares, although it can include this. It's about buying or investing in assets that will be used in the business to help generate income over time. Things like plant and equipment, land and buildings, and so on. When you invest money in these types of assets, it's called capital expenditure. Investment activities also includes investing in joint ventures, spending money on developing intellectual property and intangible assets like patents, and so on. Investment activities are reflected in the balance sheet. Only the cost of using these assets go through the profit and loss. For example, the cost of using plant and equipment is called depreciation and it's recorded as a non-cash expense item in the profit and loss. Financing activities includes things like borrowing money, making loan repayments, making loans to owners of the business or other parties, equity raising from investors, dividend payments, and so on. All these activities show up in the balance sheet. Only the cost of financing or income earned from financing activities go through the profit and loss. Neither the profit and loss or balance sheet tell you anything about cash flow. As I've explained in another video, cash flow is essentially about intins and outtins. The beauty about the cash flow statement is that it neatly groups your intins and outtins according to these three activity types. It ties together what's going on in your profit and loss and your balance sheet to show you the cash flow impact of everything you have done or are planning to do in your business. Here's the cash flow statement set out on a spreadsheet. Let's take a helicopter tour of the three main segments of the cash flow statement. The first part shows you whether your operations, that's your day-to-day -day business activities, generated cash, in other words, positive cash flow, or used up cash, negative cash flow. It is very important to have a really good understanding of net cash flow from operations, particularly if your business is on a fast growth track. The next segment shows you the cash flows that relate to your investment activities. Then you have all the cash flows that relate to financing. When you add up the cash flows from each of these activity categories, you get the overall net cash flow for your business for the month or quarter or year, depending on what period you're looking at. And at the bottom of the statement, you see the impact of the net cash flow on your bank account. Do you know if there are any parts of your business that are tying up cash unnecessarily? What type of business activities will require financing in your growth plans? You need to understand this so that you can work out how to finance your growth on a sustainable basis. Master your cash flow. Know your finances so that you can drive strong, sustainable business growth and thrive. Thank you for watching. If this has been useful, please like and subscribe to my channel.